are in South Jersey with my aunt, who I haven't seen in like 20 years. And we are going to the place where three states collide. It should be quite epic because we are going to stand in three states at once. Five minutes in the car before we came across our first cultural heritage site, and that was a statue commemorating the famous Polish war hero who fought for America in the Revolutionary War. An aid in the establishment of our precious American freedoms. So like right here in this random place, forefather Americans were fighting to get rid of those imperialistic Brits and they were led by a Polak. Seaside Heights. One of the reasons I wanted to see this place was that it was really, really famous internationally because of the TV show, The Jersey Shore. And yeah, that sounds pretty silly, but all the same, in our time, it was a really, really important place for the culture of New Jersey. We saw the house, and in my opinion, it was a letdown. It was just a kind of nasty looking, used up, rotty looking, house on the shore. The location was cool, but uh, it really made me think about the magic and uh, elaboration of TV. So after we saw the Jersey Shore house, we went on the boardwalk to my second point of visiting Seaside Heights. This was one of the places that was most destroyed by recent hurricanes, and they only just now rebuilt the boardwalk, started to rebuild roller coasters, but it was interesting to think that it's not a question of if this will be destroyed once again. It's a question of when this will be destroyed once again. These people are really, really resilient in maintaining their town despite the fact that it is located in a place that is just simply not meant to be. That's funny because we're freezing our asses off and there's some dude out there surfing. Oh my God. I couldn't imagine how cold his hands and face and any exposed skin must have been so respect to you, man. Uh, I think it's time to give you your coffee. And a donut, maybe. You can have two donuts or five. What? All right, so we should get so. Machik some donuts, you know, we'll yeah. choose. Thank you. Yum! <laughs> My favorite. Hmm, what to eat first? Come on, we should eat them all before Ryan gets out of the bathroom. No, you know what? Let's take a bite of everyone. full of preservatives and stuff. Oh, <laughs> I knew you were gonna say that. You knew I was gonna say that. Uh -huh. I mean, I think that I should eat it for the sake of the video because the truth is that this is truly American breakfast. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I guess that we have to stay true to our culture. But why in the hell is each donut? <laughs> 
You're testing everyone else's immune system or what? Now that you're sick? What is that? Yes. Who does that? I did. It's fucking Surprise! disgusting. I'm your relative. No, Actually, Lachuk's I not should. your relative. Yeah, I know. I, I can go get him another donut. He I comes all the it. way this way from Poland and... This is something you'll never forget. You're battling getting sick and you want to infect? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Wonderful. Wonderful. Hey, wait a minute. Who paid for the donuts? I did. And I was supposed to. <laughs> now you're making me regret the decision. I was. I was talking. I am going to go get him okay, another Okay, that donut. was pretty rude. I think you'll find Machik. Huh? Machik will probably eat it. I was rushing because I didn't know when you would come out, so I'm like, I didn't chew. I was just like, bite, 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 <laughs> bite. So in the 2000s, uh, the Jersey Shore was known for the TV show, The Jersey Shore. But in 1937, the Jersey Shore was pretty famous for something very different, and that was the crash of the Hindenburg, like a huge airship which uh, flew here from Frankfurt, Germany, killing uh, 36 people. And uh, it's pretty suspicious that this nasty Nazi airship was uh, exploded over American soil just a few years before the Second World War. And uh, today, there's uh, not much left. I mean, it's just like a field right behind me is the exact spot where the Hindenburg crashed. We've been uh, to a donut shop, we've been to the house of the Jersey Shore, you spilled your coffee all over yourself, and so now I think it's time for a little bit of sophistication. Let's go and visit uh, Albert Einstein's house in Princeton. How's that? What else do you know about Einstein? Um, Albert Einstein? What do I know about Albert Einstein? He did the like um, one to the power of two. He did, wait, 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 don't tell me. Um, T minus. It's like three letters or numbers, right? I think it's E equals MC squared. Yes, thank ah, you. Yeah. That's it. That's right. Right. Now if we could only figure out what the hell that meant. Do you know? No. Neither do I. Well, maybe we'll find out at his house. Yeah. So we went on uh, further on the way to uh, Princeton. There are two school buses there, and if you're on that bus. The other Why? kids think that you're uh, stupid, retarded. Um, might have a behavior problem, and uh, I actually went to the small class. I didn't ride the small bus, but there was one morning that I did, and it was like a low point of my of your school life. experience. When you're misbehaving on a school bus, I had been there once before by mistake, but I never realized how beautiful it was. This is a place totally deserving of a world-class scientist like Albert Einstein. Just think about this right now. Like, Princeton is back there. He's coming home from a day at the lab, day writing, day doing whatever scientists do. Not even discovering his discovery yet, possibly. Yeah. And he just strolled home, getting creative ideas. I mean, like... With his messy hair. <laughs> with his crazy goddamn hair. And this, is, this was his spot, you know, maybe he had a cold here right. and was sick. And look at how humble he was. He didn't want this to be a museum. That's a legend. It was a strange place to see, but an amazing place to see, and uh, a place of, of true academic heritage, let's say. Uh, the type of academic heritage that, being in Princeton, you realize a guy like me isn't even really quite worthy of, so I really appreciated that.
So somewhere back here is a house where George Washington was living. But it wasn't actually on this physical location. They have moved the house three times. Okay, okay. I, that's weird that it would end up back here somewhere. That's the house, look at that. Wow. I'm actually pretty excited to see this. Nice. It's like not every day that you see. Not only a president's house, but a house that's been moved three goddamn times. Exactly. This is actually gonna be the oldest, oldest structure I've ever seen, personally. George, he's my favorite president. Lincoln's my favorite president. Very simple, but they had vision. Yeah. That's for sure. I don't think that what America is now is exactly what they envisioned. To think of the first president of the United States, be there, have touched the railings, you know, walked on the porch. His eyes looked at the same house that my eyes looked at. Beautiful, very wide floors. Wow. Really My aunt actually works in an antique shop, so this is like really yeah, her thing. Amazing. Color tray, too. <laughs> no George. One, nobody home. <laughs> George! In there? It's like, I'm busy with presidential stuff. And it's kind of crazy to think that when he was in here, this was his headquarters. Right. You know, America was like, it wasn't even what we know today. I didn't obviously know George Washington. There aren't any video recordings of him, so who knows how he really was, but in terms of what his legend is in the United States, this house painted a nice picture. We couldn't get a tour of the house because they didn't allow photography, unfortunately. So we decided to leave, and I challenged my aunt to a race. I said that if she beat me to the car, I'd buy her some Starbucks. like kids actually, having a lot of fun. In the last moment, I was letting her win, just so you know. She fell down, and I think in the video you can just see the, the fear in my face because I, I thought, oh my God, she's gonna have a broken arm. I lost the race for the stupid Starbucks coffee, and I really think I broke my wrist. So we were on the road, we had our tea and coffee, and my aunt decided she wanted to learn Polish. Oh, okay. Cześć, mam na imię. Aha, Chrissy Sokesh. Cześć, mam na imię Chrissy Sokesh. She's like, you know what, Ryan? I'm going to learn Polish, and, you know, I'm going to be fluent. You'll see. I'm going to learn. We're going to start today. Jakmasz is what? Uh-huh, Yak Mash. Yak means what? Yeah, so Yak is actually means how. Oh, so I could say Yak Mash Naimia, uh -huh. which is just your name. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think once she figures out how hard Polish is, she might not follow through with that plan, but she's crazy, so we started our Polish lesson. So, just Namia, wait, just Nam Nidia, Ma, Ma, Nidia. That's good. First thing I wanted to learn in Polish was Yakshimash, so how are you? <laughs> to keep me from falling asleep behind the wheel. We saw like four state troopers zoom past us to some emergency, and that was pretty crazy. I, I initially thought that they were like gonna stop me, so I thought, God damn it, it's the last thing I need. Pay some state trooper ticket, you know. 
I think before we get to the three states at once, it would be worth showing our viewers what an American police cruiser looks like. We've got a spotlight here, sirens, there's a computer inside, there's also a pretty serious gun in there, look at that. And I can also tell you from experience that you don't want to be stopped because uh, with American police, they do not joke around. Also, I noticed that there's a, a camera in the squad car, so they record all the interactions. So when we were nearing our destination, when we were almost there, I mean, the, the prize was in our sight, we saw this tall monument. It looked similar to the one in uh, Washington, D.C. We went up this hill, it started snowing, it was blowing wind. What a creepy looking monument that is. I wonder, I wonder what it stands for. I don't know, we're gonna find out. This is crazy, what is this monument about? <laughs> So not only does this thing look completely creepy, but it's dangerous. Apparently it's dangerous. Wow. Shit, I still want to go in. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, so this monument is the highest point in the state. And uh, that's the whole deal. And the cornerstone was laid on June 8th, 1929. So uh, it's pretty goddamn old. And apparently it's pretty broken because something's wrong with the foundation, which makes me think that maybe we should get the hell away from this creepy looking dangerous I monument. <laughs> So the really cool thing about being up at that monument is that we could literally see the place we needed to go. So we're standing in New Jersey, down there is Port Jevies, and that is where the Tri-Point border is, right on that river. That's where we want to be. Behind me is Pennsylvania, and up there is New York. So I think it's time to finally go and get the spoils. <laughs> so we got in the car, we drove the final three miles, and we were ready to do what we set out to do. As a strange twist of faith in Cult America style, we have to walk through a freaking cemetery to get there. Let's go see the spot. Not only did we complete a journey with no sleep and no food, but we were actually going to be there and do it. With my aunt in my arms, we walked through the cemetery joyfully and discovered the place where these states collided. This is the definition of life. Um, adventure, spending time with your friends, your family, people you love, people you enjoy, meeting new people, um, experiencing today was experiencing part of um, the states and the people in it. It made me feel small but big because you think of three different states and, you know, the people in it, the history in every state. back to my child. Maybe this goes back to my American nationality, but I can tell you that standing in that place was one of the most epic, awesome things I have ever done on this channel in Cult America. It was so cool and so much fun and so much history to learn about the past, be in the present. 
and think about future. I didn't expect to like this so much. I've been to many try points at this point, and I have to say this one is excellent. These lines in the sand define so much of what makes American culture rich and special. Giving you a little perspective, standing in the state of New York as I am now, I know that Brooklyn is bustling with Hasidic Jews. If I take a step over here without falling in the river, I am in Pennsylvania, a land of farms, beautiful mountains, and Amish people tending their fields. I move over to New Jersey and I find the sweet state that has so much of my own family's legacy. Not to mention, it hosted the TV character Tony Soprano. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Cult America. Give the video a thumbs up if you want us to do more three states in one or three countries in one. And with that being said, I think I'm going to stand in three states at once and take in the greatness. My name is Ryan Sokesh. Thank you so much for watching Cult America.